Hey GTI fans, welcome to a new series on a new game I've been checking out called Journey of Life. Yes, we are trying a new game out. Um, I, I have tried it a little bit. I put in about uh, 20 hours or so off camera. Um, so here we go. We start off on a deserted island naked. And if you look down, yeah, we're in Ginch. So, this is a very, very, very early access game. Welcome, this is your new homeland. All right, excellent. So, can't do much with that. And then little tool tips. So, yeah, you can pause and read that stuff if you want. Anyway, it just kind of tells you about the technology on the game. Uh, in the game. And stuff like what you're supposed to do a little bit not much so yay great source of fibers and food you can eat the yucca leaves but personally what i like to do so day one we're on this beach we need to find fresh water to tell you the truth because if you look over here the, what does this say it says salty water it can be drank by holding e but it's advised to collect it with a pot and boil near a fire to obtain salt. So don't drink it, because you'll just, you know, die. In real life, if you drink salt wa uh, seawater, like your kidneys shut down or something, you die. So, yeah, don't do it. We need to find a freshwater source. The reason why I'm running up into the hills here is I want to pick some uh, plants to get the backpack going so it says right here alocasia big leaf plant for crafting a uh, backpack so great we're going to do that that'll expand our inventory tab to get into it crafting so what do we need craftable I think it's a tool yeah there it is right there so Two leaves, two straight solid sticks, and one fiber, or two fiber rope. Okay, so all things that we can gather here by just collecting, hit E to harvest. So you got to hit E every single time. Yeah, and oh, I'm going to hit tab. I'm going to go back into my inventory, keep hitting, oops, keep hitting E. And uh, what we're going to do is, you can see there's fiber falling, and then all of a sudden, a whole bunch of stuff. Well, straight solid stick, plant fibers. We need all that. We can turn the plant fibers in a rope. Uh, let's keep grabbing these. So grab these bushes. They're pretty much guaranteed to drop fiber and uh, the straight solid stick. Okay, and usually they drop that which is, what do they call it, birch, I think, yeah, you can use it for firewood, you can also use it in construction, for real basic construction, uh, I like to actually just use it for firewood, but that's what we want right there, so we're grabbing that, we're going to grab that, we're just going to leave the birch for now, okay, so we've got what we need in the way of sticks and rope stuff, right, because we can go into crafting, go into craftables, there's the rope right there, uh, we need a two, I'm just going to craft that all up. It's really fast to craft. And you're going to need hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of rope in this game. So you can never, the fiber, don't drop the fiber. If you can hold on to it and just make rope out of it, do it. Okay, so now let's grab these big leaves. And I believe it. we required six, two. Okay, we have enough. So let's. Did you see I didn't actually, it was on the ground. Anything nearby, it can utilize to craft. So that's really handy. I love this nearby window. That's really cool interface. And we're almost there. And boom, it automatically puts it on and expands our inventory quite a bit. I mean, now we have uh, 12 slots as opposed to two, right? So... Yay! 
We have in inventory space. Okay. Next thing we want to do is get an axe. And then what I like to do, okay, so we need an axe. We need, what do we need to build an axe with? We need a hammer, axe. We need medium sharpened rock and straight solid stick. So we can get the sticks from the, from the bushes again. So we'll just, I'm going to tab to get my inventory, open my inventory at the same time. You can see all this birch and stuff dropping. I'll pick it all up when I'm done slamming on the E button. Okay, we'll grab that. That'll get turned in the room. Okay, so we've got the stick now. We need um, to find some stones. So now let's let's cruise around. I might actually have an easier time. You can see there's deposits of stuff. Here are these chunks here. This looks like, what is that, uh, clay? Yeah. So we need a shovel for that. Anyway, let's go down into the beach. Oh, there's a seashell. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure. Oh, 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 there we go. There we go. Jagged rock. Ooh, 13 bird feathers, actually. That's, I, I don't really have a lot of inventory space, but that's quite the good find for making arrows. Um, oh, here we go. No, oh, come on. We got to pick up all these rocks, right? Because we're going to need all these rocks to, uh, here we go. Come on. Ah, here we go. Here we go. We need, we need some dense rocks. We need dense rocks. Because I'm so dense. Come on. Dense rocks. Once we have a pickaxe, we can actually smash, smash rock deposits and just, you know, then it's a good time. Okay, we're kind of going the wrong way. I don't want to go this way. Uh, we're going the wrong way to fresh water. Ooh, is that some rocks up there that I saw? Is that just bushes? Bushes! So there's a rock deposit there. Or stone deposit. If we uh, get a pickaxe going, we can smash that. So we could build a hammer. Why could we build a hammer back there? What did we see? Aha! Did you see how that lit up as a hammer? We could build a hammer, but we don't want to build a hammer. We want a medium sharpened sharpen rock. And okay, let's craft one of those. Okay, so now we can build the axe. Here we go. This is the first tool I make other than the backpack because now we can actually chop down trees. We can chop down, we can do stuff. We can get food. We can chop down. So like right now, for example, we can chop down this coconut tree with this stone axe or wooden axe, I guess they call it, and get these coconuts. I'm not going to worry about anything else. I'm not going to grab the logs because we're not staying here. I'm not going to have the... Yeah, they all drop in your head, I know. We're just going to grab some coconuts first, really quick here. And then... Uh, like, a, like a half dozen should be sufficient. I think they stack in six. So... Okay. Now, um, we also want some dry wood and some dry... For a fire start, it'll it's later on, but I want to get this done now because um, if we're at night, we need a way to light fire. We need a way to light uh, torches that I'm going to make here too. So, and these uh, yucca trees, they give a whole ton of these plant fibers usually. Oh, there we go. True, two and two. Wow, that was a score. Let's just make two then. We'll just make two. Okay. I know we're getting low on inventory space now. I might have to drop those feathers. Be a real shame, but we don't really need a uh, bow and arrow right now. Be, um, it's just that those 15 feathers, I mean, to find a, or 13 was quite the score, really. Okay, what do we need now? We need... We need the pickaxe, so that means sharpened small stone. We need more dense rock. 
So we need to find dense rock. Oh, what's this? This looks like dense stones here. Yeah, a couple of them. Good. Okay, so let's grab those. Uh, so two sharpened stones, small stones. We should be able to do that. Let's do that. Okay, we need a stick. Well, it's, well, we're looking for a stick. Let's get the rope crafting. Uh, what do we got? 18. Excellent. Okay. Uh, sticks. We can just pick those out of the bushes here. So we'll do that. <clears throat> okay. In good shape here. Good shape. Okay, so a solid stick, we'll grab that. And then it's almost done. It's almost done. By the way, if you're crafting something, if you if you want to try this game, uh, go, you know, please, by all means, go ahead and buy it. It's actually a fantastic game for whatever it was, $17 Canadian. But um, it's early access, so there's not a lot in it yet. Um, there's, there's more than you might think at first look, but there's, uh, it's still, there's a lot of features to come and a lot of content to come. So, so don't be disappointed, uh, if, you know, 40 hours into it or so you kind of, you kind of reach the limit of what you can really do in the game. Okay, uh, you know what? Let's use one of those and I'll grab that. We're going to grab these rocks because we need these dense stones. Okay. Um, you know what? We'll use one more. We'll grab that. <laughs> okay, so now that we've got that, we should be able to make that. There we go. Okay, pickaxe is huge. Now that we have a pickaxe, I, you know what, we don't really, what do we need these jagged rocks for it? We could make another, you know what, that's not a bad idea. Let's make another one. Because um, we will fry our axe, I bet. So let's do that. We need... Another straight solid stick. Okay. Bushes. Is that a little bush? No. These are bushes here. Okay. We got to get cruising though. We're running. It's taken us a long time to get our crap together here. We're going to start getting into trouble because we got to head inland here and find fresh water. Okay. We're going to take that. We're going to take that. And we're going to craft that up right away, just so we have two of them. Okay, and now can I make a... I'm going to make a torch. We need another straight solid stick. Okay, so let's do that. We'll grab the rope, or the uh, fiber, I should say. And that is... can stack. don't know why it wasn't. Come on, stick. Give me a stick. That way we can have a torch with us if it starts getting dark. Okay, uh, let's make that torch. And we've got a couple of fire starters. So, okay, we're good to go. We're good to go. Let's let's head. Um, we'll grab these dense rocks. That's probably a good idea. A little bit of jittering. That's fine. Here, I'm going to go back in my inventory to... Um, so it says we need a hammer and a shovel. We can continue that when we get to fresh water. So I'm going to start sprinting. So this is the inlet. There's an inlet. Follow this inlet. Come all the way to the end of the inlet. And you'll see it's kind of a valley between the two hills, mountains, whatever you want to call them. Come up in, but yeah, I know there's a question mark there, but screw it. <laughs> maybe it'll maybe it'll show up somewhere else. 
Um, anyway, follow in between. You'll get to a landlocked sea. So I'm pretty sure this is salt water here because it's got waves. and Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's salt water because there's crabs. Anyway, you can go around this sea, inland sea, I guess you could call it. It's kind of funny on an island. Um, but it is what it is. So we want to get around this. And my stamina is going to tank in a second. So not bad. Our stamina lasts quite a while. Oh, and it's starting to tank. I'm just going to let it uh, completely die on me here to see what it's like when it when our stamina tanks. flashing it's still letting us run what is that look at all the stuff we're running by hey eh? i guess i should have stopped for that 20 freaking fiber eh? but whatever still letting us run oh there we go there we go now it dumped us dumped us to a, a walk okay let's grab that because we can so we'll let our stamina build up again it builds up pretty quick that's not bad. Okay, let's keep trucking. So we want to get all the way. We're heading towards the volcano. It's like we're heading towards the base of it, basically. Okay. And we want to start heading up. Instead of cutting up there... There's, there's bears and stuff up there. If you cut up here, and kind of you got to jump a bit. It's a bit of a areas you got to jump and whatnot. But <clears throat> if you cut up the mountain a bit on this side, we can get above where the bears are. They have a little valley that they hang out in. And I just want to bypass them so if we get up here oh come on we can do it come on come on come on come on come on you can do it oh jump jump come on oh really can i not get up there i swore i could get up there before oh here we go oh i was there okay yeah there we go <laughs> come on So traversing land can be a little challenging on this game, as you can see. So there's a little valley down there. So we've got to beware of bears. We don't want to get too low down there, but they'll be down there in there somewhere. Oh, is, that, is that them over there? Maybe. Anyway, too far to see. Let's just keep going. And I'm getting stuck on rocks and stuff. Got to be careful. We don't want to fall because you can die from falling. It's like you're fine. You don't take any damage and then you're dead. There's no there's no middle ground. So, okay. I think we're, we're getting there. So now... Now we got to start heading down. Now we got to start heading down, and there sometimes there's there's bears down here. I, I think I remember boars more than bears. So we'll just uh, what's this? A ravine? Uh, gotta stay out of that. So there's a real deep ravine. Uh, we're not going to be checking that out today. We're just going to run to the... So, so we're heading towards... This side here. 
Okay, and now we're going to climb up a bit. Try and bypass. There's some bears again, I think, in the next little valley in between this mountain and the volcano. Yeah, can we get up there? Oh, come on. I don't think we're going to make it up this. Okay. Oh, oh. I had some serious parkour there for a second, maybe. No, that's fine. That's fine. Can we get up here? Come on, you can do it. No, no. Okay. All the rocks and stuff. All the deposits. Looks like coal or something. I think that's what I was looking for this before. No, I'm walking right through it. So it's I don't guess I don't think it is. Okay. Sun's gonna start going down here soon. We gotta get we gotta get trucking. We are it's getting late and we are running out of daylight I don't want to be stuck in the mountains because wolves oh come on come on come on Ah, I missed it. Where is the... I need to get up here. <sighs> need to get up here somehow. Come on. pushing forward with the jump and when I jump it jumps backwards it's like oh come on yeah I think I gotta get up on that ridge yep yep I gotta get up on that ridge I came down too soon come on come on there we go. This is where I needed to be. Okay, so now I can't remember. I'm not sure if there's bears through here. I think there's boars. Okay, so let's head up. Yeah, we're going to start running out of sunlight. I, I dawdled too long. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, up here, we're getting there. So there we go. There's the, um, the mountain face we're looking for. Right there. Okay, we got to get around that. So that means up over here. Whoa, not cliffs. Well, this looks like water down there, eh? but it's not. Okay, we're running out of sunlight. Can we get down here? Here? Yep. We can get down here. Okay, I don't see any bears. Good. Gotta get that way. I 
hate running up over hills. Come on. We still got a bit of a trek to go. Now you can also get to it from the ocean way. You can just follow the coast. But that's the boring way. I know there's just so much stuff I'm passing by here. Okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We're got, we're coming up into the upper valley here. So I call it a valley because there's two mountains to either side. Oh, look at the willow trees here. Keep a note of where those are. Right when we came into the valley here. So there's a grove, a small little grove of willows. Those are willow trees. We're going to have to come back for those. Um, you need those for the roof grass. That's what drops the uh, roof material. Okay, and we're running out of light. Okay, but that's okay. We, Although we're at the base of the mountain, right where the wolf den is, so we, we need to uh, <laughs> not be out at night with the wolves. So let's keep, this is a nice huge flat valley. So this valley is pretty much going to be our stomping grounds. Um, I'll show you. We're getting really close to the uh, water now. No, tanking. Our stamina is tanking. And the river's, the river's pretty much far enough away that um, wildlife other than rabbits and boars I haven't seen anything else come to the river which is kind of unusual you think because it's the only freshwater source every animal on the island would head to it but um, here we go we are coming up to the waterfall here and this is the river freshwater yay we made it so what's our uh sun's going well you know what we no sun's not going down let's i'm going to show you inside the cave there's a behind the waterfall so it's it, it's about waist deep the water the the river you don't have to worry about drowning in it but inside is just full of deposits now I've thought about making a camp inside here on the first night, but um, it's not a bad idea. It's kind of cool in here, eh? Lots of deposits, just lots and lots of deposits. It's all limestone and, and iron though. So the iron is the red stuff here. And then the limestone is the uh, greenish stuff. So you can make limestone bricks um, for construction. You need it for making forges and, and foundations, stone foundations. Uh, we're not going to be doing that. It's just take. It's too time consuming. So I'm just going to be going with wood. Okay. I think what we want to do is we want to scope out a nice flat area that we can just claim. doesn't really matter if there's trees because, I mean, first night, you know what, first night, let's just, there's a stone deposit and uh, a shore right here. You know what, let's, let's just set up camp right here before the sun goes down. So, uh, the hunt, we have to craft a wooden hammer and shovel. Well, that's all fine and dandy. We've got the pickaxe here. What I'm going to do is, oh, can we, there we go. I'm going to just smash this stone. Let it fall onto the ground. I don't really care. 
This one, um, the rocks that are dropping out of it, there's some flat stones. Excellent. Okay. And lots more dense stones. Looking at, looking for the dense stones, really. And you can see it's almost used up. And poof, there we go. So they won't go washing away. They seem to stay forever. Let's craft uh, really quickly. We can, you know what we can do is we can grab, we can make the hammer and the shovel really quick. Now that we've got all those rocks, we just need some, uh, we just need the wood. Come on. There we go. Um, so what can we make? We can make the hammer. So we need that. And then we're going to need the shovel. So what does that require? Straight solid stick. Another one. Okay. So the hammer fell at our feet because <laughs> we don't have any room. You know what? I'm going to dump these rocks, all this stuff off here. You can just drag it and place it where you want. You can also spin the stuff too using your Q and E. Oh, it's getting dark now. Let's throw the feathers down. We don't need to be having those on us. Let's use one of these coconuts to replenish a bit of our food and water. There we go. Okay, so we, whoops, yeah, let's stop that. Um, okay, let's grab that. And then we can grab that and turn that into rope. What else do we need? We need the straight solid stick. We need a straight solid stick. So another, another bush and a, a jagged rock M. That's fine. Come on. Come on. Couple more. Couple more. There you go. Grab that. Grab that. And then. There we go, Jagged Rock M. Let's craft that. And poof, we've got our shovel. And that completes the basic tools. And now it wants us to collect a dry wood stick. We did that. Collect wood base. We did that. Collect high density rock. We did that. Craft fire starter. We did that. So place a fireplace and build the fireplace. So let's do that. Get into our crafting tree. So that it's a station fireplace we're going to place that uh, right. we can always pick it up and move it so we need the hammer in hand so the hammer and then do we have enough stones around us no so let's grab a bunch of these dense rocks here there we go now we got enough and we'll make this so you pound each rock in one at a time I like it Okay, so there we go, our fireplace. Woohoo! And that's complete also now. And then we're on to the place a workstation, build a workstation, interact with workstation. And the sun is about to go down. Um, I think what I want to do is actually, before the sun goes down, we want to make a primitive bed. And I'm going to just put that right there. Okay, and we're gonna we're gonna grab these alocasia leaves. So okay, let's go into inventory. It's gonna start getting dark here, but we can grab these and what did it require again? Eight. Okay. that and I want to set up a, a basic bed before it gets too dark I mean we do have the torch so but uh, I want to stay by the campfire because if wolves do come around they won't they won't come close to the campfire so we're gonna to have to keep that going all night too but that's okay. As soon as you sleep, it, it seems to like pause time. So <laughs> it's all good. Oh, we can't fit anymore. That's fine. 
Let's go over and finish making this then. We're going to pound these leaves into the ground using our hammer. Okay, now we've got, and you can see we can go, go to sleep right now if we want. Uh, we're, I mean, it's not quite dark out yet. Let's uh, grab this birch. So we're going to grab this off the ground. And then we, we can just grab it and throw it right into the fireplace and it and it makes it ready now it didn't need all of it so it could use it all i like that uh let's throw a bunch of the stuff down onto the ground that we don't necessarily need we don't need two fire starters on us we don't need all these coconuts on us um we don't need all the rope on us we should be making more right now okay i'm going to keep a torch on me excellent excellent so place a workstation build a workstation i think that's going to be for our next episode because as the sun goes down i think i'm going to call this episode uh let's start the fire um so we got to put we got to equip the you know, let's just put this we got to equip the fire starter and then have the the symbol icon of the fireplace ready and then just use the left button of the mouse and it starts it so there we go we made fire we're surviving we're surviving we've got uh our thirst is not too bad now and now that we're beside a fresh water source we'll be able to uh attain fresh water really easy because we, we're not going to drink right from the river because we'll get dysentery but uh, we can boil the water we can't boil seawater to drink it you can only turn seawater into salt. So, yeah, but you can turn the river water into drinkable water. Well, guys, I hope you like it so far. It's this is a really cool game. Um, it's run on the Unreal Engine, so that's why it looks so good, and and everything about it seems very original right now. Uh, obviously, there's a not a lot of of stuff in the game yet, and um, there's very few assets to tell you the truth. But I'm sure, I'm sure as they build the assets or acquire them somehow, they'll be introducing more stuff into the game. Uh, and you can see the sun is going down now. What a view! Wow, this is a this is a nice spot to uh, build a settlement, and that's what the ultimate goal is. So there we go. The sun's going down. Let's sleep for the night. So you just hit E and choose how many hours you want to sleep for, six or eight. I'm going to do eight. Make sure that this is topped up. Yep, good enough. So we're going to do eight hours. And boom, we are alive. It is morning. So next video, we will continue on setting up our camp and turning it into a base and eventually a settlement. So until next episode, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.